I have a piece of Asian pear mounted in the lathe on a worm screw. It's 10 inches long. It's about 6 inches tall and 6 inches wide at the widest. I'm going to see what I can get out of this. This was a crotch that really had an odd, odd shape on it and I cut it off. So this is going to have something going on here. I don't know what's going to get left and what isn't. So we can get started turning on this. Okay, got my 5 8 spool gouge sharpened up. You get about 550 RPMs. See how this turns out. This one, very similar to the other one where there were some really soft spots. I'm not sure if it's if it was rotting is why they cut it down or what it what the reason is, but the other piece was very interesting looking. We'll see what happens with this branch. I kind of like the idea of leaving it. This is curling down in here. It's going to be odd. Try to get that base down somewhere where I can get an idea of what else I can do with it. Here's a little better view of what's going on here. I've got this crotch going down in here. Turn a little more away here down into this crack. I get this almost round right here if that's going to be the base. I'm going to cut some of this away and have my tenon up a little bit higher than what I planned. Yeah, maybe even a little bit more. I want to remove this before I final do the final cutting here. So, it's just worm screws in there pretty tight, but it still could shift after I cut that off. I'm gonna work this off. There we go. We have a little base on here. Perfect. That I can live with. So my uh, the other bowl I made from this error that I picked up, it also had this going on in it. 
This tree must have been diseased. It ended up when I turned it inside that I had holes going through the bowl, but it actually looked pretty cool. It's hard saying how far that crack goes, but I think it's going to be all right. I like this shape here. I'm going to leave this on for a base. It just happened to be I haven't cleaned this up, but it, it flares out that way, and I, I might even leave that. I'm going to do a little clean-up cutting here. See what that looks like. Yeah, I like that. It worked out nice. I like this little stream coming down out of there. I got a little few ridges here I'll have to work out. And I'll work, get this tenon, work on this. Fix that. All right, I'm gonna see what I can find to scrape that out. Well, I was gonna use coffee grounds on this, but they're too coarse and they have some real fine dust, I just sanded off a piece of Cambian oak. And that's real fine. It's going to pack in there better. This is coming out pretty smooth, but I'm going to take my scraper and see if I can make this look more like it belongs there instead of a patch. Alright, see what that looks like. Not too bad. This one looks better. I think what I'll do is give this a good soaking of sanding sealer and that'll toughen up some of that grain. But overall it's not too bad. Okay, I have this sand mostly sanded up. I'll do some more sanding after I get it flipped around. I'm happy with those patches, this uh, sawdust that I mixed up and put in there. It looks fairly natural like it belongs there. So I'm going to turn it around and grab it with my uh, chuck. Start working on the inside. Well, it's got a nice little dip right here. I didn't notice that before. That's that's going to be a nice edge.
Okay, I'm going to trim this upper wall up a little bit. <laughs> it has rotted off right there. That piece just jumped right out. Oh boy, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, it was right there and it just popped off. I took this uh, area on the inside that had really soft wood and I, I sort of scraped some of that out and I made a uh, patch with some fine sawdust and mixed it with lacquer and I filled that in here and I'm going to go through the process of sanding the inside of this up to probably 400 grit and then I'm going to put a finish on it. Well, I know what I'm going to use for a finish. I had put a uh, sanding sealer over the whole bowl inside and out. Mostly because I wanted to toughen up some of the grain so it would sand easier and it seemed to work pretty good. Well, this bowl has many, many beauty marks in here. Some people might call them flaws, but they're really beauty marks. I've got a great big crack in here which radiates all the way to the outside which is kind of, kind, of, kind of interesting looking there. This had some real soft wood. I did patch that. I normally don't like to spend a lot of time patching but it especially came out nice on the outside. So what I'm going to use is Howard's. Howard's is a, a really nice finish and it's I don't really know exactly what it's composed of, but it almost acts like a, like an oil finish in a way, and it's got a wax in it. And I think it'll just be a more subtle finish on this one rather than try to use lacquer or build up shellac. So that's my reasoning here to accent them beauty marks. There we go. So that crack I was talking about on the inside, it comes out right here. And it comes up and it starts right from this area here. It just that's that's not cracked there, but all that color just chases down right into this crack. So 
So let's put some Howard on it and see how much it changes it. I like that. It's so rich, rich looking. It really makes that bark look good. This area here in this Asian pear is almost white in some spots. I'll start whittling this tendon away. Here's the finished Asian pear bowl. It's, it's about eight and a half across, five and a half tall. And it's just about almost six wide right here. I really like how it turned out. It has very interesting things going on in it. It has a nice edge going over here. This dips down. My favorite thing is this, this crack that starts right there and then comes up. It just looks like something melted and curved down around it. Turned really nice. I like the shape and uh, I'm happy with how it turned out. I'd like to thank everyone who watched this video. I truly appreciate it. I'd like to thank all of my subscribers. And for those of you who are not subscribed, please do. If you like this video, please click like. Comments are always welcome. I have uh, more turnings in the works, and I'm looking forward to uploading those, and I'll see you the next time. We don't get a lot of snow here, but if you look close, it's snowing in the background of these photos.